Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing about basic commands in Unix. So now let's see basic commands in Unix systems. So now let's see about Unix basic commands. Unix commands. Knowing about basic Unix commands will help you to navigate your Unix or Linux systems, confirm current system status and to manage files or directories. Now let's see some of the basic Unix command. Help command in Unix, man. This command will help to view manual pages for Unix commands. Shell commands in Unix, clear, to clear the screen, the terminal screen window and history, shows the history of the previous command. So now let's see the working of these commands. So here you can see this is my Kali Linux machine. Now let's open the terminal. So this is the terminal, command line terminal. So now let's see the man command. Now let's see the working of the man command. So now let's see the man command. Now type let's man and press enter. So here you can see it will ask for what manual page do you want. So now here type and type man and then type type an ls and press enter. So here you can see it will show you the name ls list directory contents and here you can see the synopsis ls option and file and here you can see the description lists information about files the current directory by default and etc. Mandatory arguments too long options and etc can say hyphen a all hyphen a and all the options here you can see the information about so here you can see so this is how we will be using the man command and after completion here you can click on q2 with so now let's see about the history command now let's simply type history and press enter so here you can see it will show the history of my previous commands executed so here you can see this is the history of my previous command i executed so this is how we'll be using the history command so now let's see date and time commands date displays the system date and time cal displays the current month calendar up time displays how long the system has been up? Mm, see, let's like system status commands. Uname or uname hyphen r displays operating system name and displays the kernel version. The hyphen r switch displays the kernel version. Hostname or hostname hyphen i. The hostname command displays the server name and hyphen i switch displays the server IP address. W displays the system load, who's logged in, and etc. information. So now let's see the working of these commands. So now we are now let's check the working of date command. Now let's just press enter date and press enter. So here you can see it will display the current name, date, and year. So now let's check the cal command. Here you can type cal and press enter. So here you can see it will display the current month calendar. If you want the Another year calendar you can type cal t20 center. So here you can see it will display it displays the calendar of year 2020. So that you can use this calendar command. So let's use the clear command to clear the terminal screen. This is one of the system commands. So now let's use the command uptime. So here it will show how much time the user is up and logged on. So here you can see the uptime is 9 minutes. So now let's use the system command clear to clear the screen. So now let's see about the uname command. Type uname and press enter. So here you can see it will display the operating system name let's enter now let's type uname and hyphen r switch so here you can see 
it will displace the kernel version so this is how we will be using the uname command so now let's see about user commands who am i displace the current user information and su it is used to switch from one user account to another user account for example su and username log name displace the current username groups shows which group user belongs to and pass wd is for change the to change the user password so now let's see the working of these comments so now let's type who am i and press enter so here you can see it will display the current logged username which is root now let's type the following command su so actually it is root account so the su will the user will be in the root account itself only so if you want to create another user you can create the another user using user at user1 like that so now the user add will be added and now you can assign the password by using pass wd user1 command so now it will ask to enter the new unix password now Let's enter the password. Press enter. So now here you can see the password will be updated successfully. So now to add this user to sudo group, you should uh, you should use the following command: user mod hyphen a and capital G SU so it is hyphen a hyphen G sudo and then username which is user1 and press enter so the user will be added to sudo group so now are clear and now let's log into the Let's change the user account using the SU user1 press enter. So here you can see you will be logged as user1. Here you can type the we are my command. So here you can see you have changed to the user1 account. So now again to come back to root, I press SU root will ask for the password enter the password of the root account so here you can see using again if you have changed it to the root account you can see and type who oh, am my command so here you can see we are now in the root account so this is how we will be using the SU command to change between the user accounts. So here you can also use the log name command to display the username. So here you can see displays the username as root. So here you can see some of the file and directory management commands which are PWD displays present working directory path and cd which is used to change the directory mkdir to make a new directory and rm is to remove files and directories to remove directory you can use rmdir command and ls is to list the files and directories in the current directory and mb command is used to move files and directories to another location you can also use the cp command to copy files and chmod is to change files or directory access permissions and ch1 is to change the files or directory ownership
So now let's see working with files cat. It is used to create new files or to open existing files or to append data to the existing file touch command. It is used to create empty files i.e. 0 byte files moreover it is used to change the file timestamp networking commands if config show and send ip addresses ip address ip shows and sets the ip addresses ping check if remote host is reachable via icmp ping or not so now let's see the working of these commands So now let's see pwd command. So here you can see this is the present working directory slash root. Now let's create an directory using mkdir command. mkdir and directory name you can as such as new. A new directory will be created. Here you can type ls to view. Here you can see the new directory created directory here. Now let's use the cd command to change the directory to cd and new and press enter. So now we will be changed to the new directory. So now here you can see pwd and check the present working directory. So now we will be in slash root slash new. And now here you can create an text file using the following cat and then some file name dot text dot text and now here you can enter some text cat so here you can see now to save this file you should click on ctrl plus d button now you can see the file will be saved here click on ls so here you can see file.txt now to view the contents of the file here you can check by typing cat and then file name file name dot text so here you can see the content so hi this is an example of cat command so this is how we will be using the cat command so now let's create an another directory cd test mkdir test so now here we have created the test command so here you can see now let's copy the file.txt to the test directory so simply use cp command to copy and then the file name the file location file.txt this is the sender's location and then the destination location will be slash test press enter so now let's navigate to test enter pwd so here you can see now you can see our present working directory slash root slash new slash test enter ls So in case if it doesn't work then you have to specify the full path. So here you can see I have again specified the full path stating slash root slash new slash file dot text to slash root slash new slash test. Now press enter. Now ls. Now here you can see now the file dot text has been copied. You can view this content by cat and file dot text command so here you can see now to remove the following file dot text here type rm file dot 
text so here now enter ls so here you can see the file dot text now deleted let's go back so now we are in new now to remove the text you can enter rm tar test so now ls so here you can see the text directory has been deleted so this is how we will be using the delete command so now let's use the touch command in touch command you can create any file for such as like file dot type ls so here you can see file dot extension file has been created so like this here you can create any file using this touch command so now let's see the networking commands usage if if config so here you can see will display the following internet ipv4 address ipv6 address and etc and now here you can also let's see the following ping command usage ping so here you can see the ping command so this is how we will be using the ping command to check whether the target IP address is up or not. So here you can see the ping statistics. So these are the basic Unix commands.